so I auditioned for it, but I was almost a victim of my own ageism because when they called me, I had a perception of how old Rob is, but I forget that however old I am, that doesn't matter to people who don't look at me. Right. These are and ageless characters. Yeah, right, exactly right, right. right, Tatiana. And so I, ha I called my agent to say, did they remember that I was Raphael in the original? Not out of arrogance, but I didn't want to get in there and have him go, oh shit, that's right. He was, well, let's give the old guy a bone, he's here. You know, but I was the one looking at myself in the mirror every day, going, oh yeah, you got gray hair, you're getting old. Well, Ciro, all they do is like this, they go, they listen. Yeah, they oh listen wow, to wait a minute, you know who would be really an extra, let's bring right. Rob Paulson. And right out of the park. Right? Right out of the oh, yeah. park, he nailed so, it again. So, thank God, again. But that shows their level of, of not only talent, but their vision. Yeah. I don't have that. I'm an actor. But my perception of myself was that I was too old for that job. And it never occurred to them. How cool is that? We both have done everything. I mean, Final mm -hmm. Fantasy, you know, animated. It's like, but we, we go down the line, you name it, you probably in it. What is the prep routine at this point? Like, what is your daily routine to get ready for your characters? Do you ever have to, like, remind yourself well, you I'm have not to check playing, in with, you know? You have like to you check in with yeah. your parole officer. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have this ankle bracelet's kind You're of in tight. Sample. You're in but, sample uh, every day. No, no, no. Yeah. Well, that's me. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, well, uh, uh, preparing the script, definitely being familiar with the script before, mm -hmm. because there's times where the script is not prepared, not mm -hmm. ready, and you have to go in cold and do it. But uh, it, another fortunate thing for us is uh, we do so many other gigs that sometimes... I'll forget what the role sounded like, who I'm supposed to play that day. And fortunately, the producers will have like a recording of what I did so I can remember because I'll go and go completely forgetting what the person sounded like, you know, yeah. especially if it's a recurring role on different shows mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, but that's one of the biggest challenges. Uh, but Any personal prep you do? Like, I, some yeah, people listen to certain music? Yeah, I do. I, 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 play, uh, I play everything, anything from... Uh, Oh gosh, Ray Goodman and Brown in my car, or like special lady to Barry White. And, and I don't really do anything special to take care of my voice. I probably should, but I don't mm -hmm. smoke. I don't drink to excess or anything like that. Um, and uh, I, there are certain characters, like I did a character for years on Fairly Odd Parents called Mark Chang, who's uh, mm. this alien guy who, oh yeah, <laughs> thank you. Are you married? <laughs> you wanna be for like an hour? Okay, <laughs> and go with me to Yugo Potamia. Um, so that, that's a particular <laughs> character that, that tears up my throat. Mm. And so often uh, Butch Hartman, who's the wonderful Nickelodeon producer who hired me for years on that and Danny Phantom and all those shows, if we're doing a script with Mark Chang, they'll let me do it at the end of the show. Mm. Because if I do it all through, like I'll read, the, I'll read Mark's lines to, to interact with the other actors, just with my voice. But then at the end, I'll go back and pick it up because it's doing this. If I do it for more than like an hour and a half, I'm just blown out. Because Mark, as you know, it's like balls out screaming. So it depends on, you know, there are those kinds of yeah. roles. But you, because you, I don't have the, the, the range that Kevin has, but when you do like big stuff, aren't there some that tear up your throat too, the yeah. monster things? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's why I pretty much cut back on a lot of monsters because mm -hmm. it's hard to do the roles where you actually have straight dialogue with a you know, uh, a more softer sounding voice with a different character, like, for instance, like Cleveland Junior, you know, or something like that. Yeah, you know, great. so with a lot of different. Look monsters. at them smiling. Yeah. <laughs> What's the my, please say that line? Which one? Cleveland Junior. <laughs> Daddy, will you wipe me? <laughs> I'm having little problems with Is the dingleberries. <laughs> I think I think I think I can get one of them, but I can't get them all. <laughs> you should see, we got four beautiful kids back here, and they're all. Laughing so hard. Yeah, yeah. That kills me, but, man. But, but Daddy, will you wipe me? <laughs> and he's 14 years old. It's great. Oh. Oh.